If you're looking for a pair of high quality Bluetooth speakers for a bedroom or office, the Dyn Audio XEO2s just might be what you're looking for. We're gonna check them out right after the jump. All right, everyone, I would like to thank Worldwide Stereo for sending these in for review and sponsoring this video. These wireless self-powered speakers retail for about 1500, but are on sale for 900. And if you use the code TECHNODAD, you will get $100 off, bringing them down to $800. The first thing I noticed when taking these speakers out of the box is the sheer weight of them. They are heavy for such a small form factor, which is a good sign. In the box, we get two speakers, magnetic grills, auxiliary cable, RCA cables, optical cable, and a multitude of power cables for different parts of the world. Remote control and batteries for the remote. The speakers use a five and a half inch magnesium silicate woofer and a one inch soft dome tweeter. Both speakers have a 65 watt power amplifier inside and a frequency response of 40 Hertz to 24,000 Hertz. Wow, that's pretty awesome for such a small speaker. On the back, we can see a switch for speaker position consisting of neutral, wall, and corner, which leads me to believe there is some built-in DSP. There is also a left and right speaker selector on both speakers, so make sure one is set to left and the other is set to right. And on the right, we have a room selector as you can run multiple pairs of these speakers in different rooms using the XEO Hub or Dynaudio Connect. I'll set both of these speakers to red as they will be in the same room. I'm going to unscrew the rubber from the bottom so we can see the I.O. a little bit better. On one of the speakers, we have from left to right an auxiliary input, RCA input, optical input, a USB for firmware updates, and a power port on the far right. If you wanted to plug in a turntable like this Technics SL1200GR, you would need a phono stage as these speakers do not have one built in. On the other speaker, we just get a USB port and power port. On the top of both speakers, we have plus and minus for volume and pairing, and a power button in the middle. On the front face, there are two status LEDs in the upper left-hand corner. All right, let's plug these things in and power it on. Tap and hold the circle on top of either speaker to turn them on. The red LED will flash for a little bit and then flash blue. To pair the speakers via Bluetooth, we need to press and hold the plus and minus buttons until the LED flashes white. You can see on my iPad that the speakers come up as Dynaudio XEO2 Red. Let's jump onto Spotify and play some music. As you can see here, the speaker and iPad volume are connected. All right, let's get into an audio demo so you guys can hear these things. The microphone is a little over four and a half feet away from the speakers and the volume will be at 75%. Use some good headphones to get the full effect and also realize you are getting some of my room in the mix. Okay, so I'm sure you're probably wondering, how do these speakers sound? They sound so good for such a small speaker. Now, I was surprised when I first put music through these speakers, but then at the same time, I was also not surprised because they retail for $1,500, so they should sound good. Now, if you use my coupon code along with the link down in the description, you can pick them up for $800, and that puts it in a better bracket and is also an easier pill to swallow. They did sound really good, and I was surprised that the bass did dig down to 40 hertz. 
that was very astonishing. And I think that's part of the DSP that they added to the speaker. Since they're only using five and a half inch woofers, I didn't think they would actually hit down to 40 Hertz, but they did. And I was pleasantly surprised. They did a great job designing these speakers. The mids and highs were crystal clear. And even though I'm constricted to a tabletop, the imaging was also fantastic. This small Dyn audio system did not disappoint. And if you're looking for a pair of powered speakers that sound great and have a small form factor, you should definitely check these out. If you're looking to put some music in a bedroom or an office, I would say a small to medium sized room would be perfect for these speakers. Now let's get into what I did not like about these speakers. Coming in at $1,500 like before, not now, before, now they're 800, but before when they were $1,500, I think having a built-in phono stage would have been good. Now I'm not too keen on like the engineering of these speakers. I mean, they're pretty small and compact, so maybe they just didn't have room for a phono stage. Uh, good thing is you can pick up a phono stage from anywhere from $60 on up. In this video, I used a Pluto by U-Turn Audio, which goes for around $99. Overall, I think Dyn Audio did a great job designing such small speakers that have a huge sound. These are a great pair of Bluetooth speakers that have a sound that will rival larger speakers. The fact that they are really small is great because that makes them very versatile, especially when you take into account the DSP. So if you're putting these up against a wall, in a corner, or just out in the open, choose the proper DSP for your specific environment and these speakers will perform for you very well. I had about four listening sessions between two and three hours each and listening to the speakers, I had a very, very pleasant experience. I just wanted to listen to them more. I just didn't have any time. They were very well balanced. There was no ear strain, no ear fatigue. They just sounded really, really good. Now, if you want to check these out, there's a link down in the description to Worldwide Stereo. And if you want to pick them up, use the coupon code TECHNODAD to get $100 off of these speakers. Once again, I'd like to thank Worldwide Stereo for sending these in for review and sponsoring this video. So thank you guys so much. And if you guys out there have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below or on whichever social platform you like to use the most. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad, and I'll see you next time.